Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoja Ninja here today, and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to install and set up HLDJ to work with your CSGO. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to hldj.org. All of these links will be in the description below. Uh, basically, you want to go to hldj.org, go to the Downloads tab here, download whether you have 62-bit or 64-bit. I have 64-bit. So we'll just go ahead and save this file. I'm going to save it to the desktop for ease of use. We'll minimize this, right click, I use WinRAR so you want to extract. Um, basically wherever you extract it to that's where it's going to be run from. Me personally I like to just keep this on my, on the root of my drive so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the stuff that's inside of here. Go to my C drive, HLDJ and then paste it into here. So now all I got to do is what I prefer to do to make it easier for me. I right click this, I go pin to start menu, come down here, open up HLDJ, I untick that so it'll always just open right away. It starts up like this, settings cannot, uh, settings file currently does not exist, would you like to run setup now? You hit yes, and would you like out to add all of your games now? Yes. Alright, you play audio key, uh, you can set this up to whatever you like it to be set up as, um, I just chose left arrow for now. Audio directory. This is where you want HLDJ to look for your music. So mine is on here. You go to my local disk, HLDJ. So this is the actual program, and then this is where all the music is. I hit OK, and then I just hit the checkbox. Boom. Added one game, CSGO. It's right there. Awesome. So I just hit the check mark. For me, I do not have it launch game application. It crashes out a lot of time. I know there's a way to fix it. A buddy of mine has found out how to fix it, but I don't. So I just leave that unchecked. I always do minimize the tray and minimize on game start. Um, hit the X there. We go to settings. This just shows you that you have CSGO picked as, uh, um, well, whatever. It's this. If you have other games on your C drive, or you can specify where, but uh, all your all your games will be in here and you go to settings you can change which game you want to change the settings for you click this little arrow and you can pick the game directory audio directory and stuff like that super simple um, alright this is the most important part this is how you get the music uh, into HLDJ basically so it automatically so this is the the folder that we just chose where it's going to output it to you um, your input directory is always set up as documents I'm not sure if there's a way to change that I'm sure there probably is I've never messed with it so I have mine set up under you go to my documents and then you go to audacity and then I have all my music in my audacity folder and then after I convert it I throw it into the old so that way it doesn't convert it every single time and I'll show you why in a few minutes here so let's go ahead and exit out of HLDJ. Now this is one of the most important things. You're going to want to go to audacityteam.org and go ahead and download Audacity. Um, you should have one of these operating systems by now. So go ahead and download Audacity and then make sure you go to lame.buanzo.org and you want to download lame for Audacity. So you want to click the Windows download and right here lame v3.99. Uh, for Windows, download that and install it as well. Otherwise, you can't export files from Audacity as MP3 files. So that's pretty important. I've already got Audacity set up with Lame, so I'm not going to do that for you. So here, let's just do this real quick. Uh, let's just pick a song. Whoops. All right. So I'm going to pick a song here. I'm going to pause this so I don't get the copyright infringement stuff. Copy that. I use this. This is a super quick uh, converter. It'll, it'll convert it to MP3 immediately. You hit download, hit save file. I choose a folder on my desktop that I just named Musica. Uh, and then I'm going to put it in there. It'll download pretty quickly. Cool. So now we've got that song downloaded. Um, actually, I can exit out of this. So let me go in here real quick and clean this up since I did not do that beforehand. All right, awesome. So what I do now is I want to open up Audacity. I'm going to go to File, Open. It's already set up for my Musica folder. I think it defaults to like your downloads or something. So I select this. I hit Open. Wait for it to open. Wow. Uh, so I go to Tracks. I'm going to go to Mix and Render. Come over here to the drop down, right where it says the the name of the track. You go to Set Sample Format. Set it to 16-bit. 
you select this again, go to set rate, go to 22050. It's going to slow it down. It's going to look really funky. If you try to play it, yeah, it's a trip now. So now you want to go over to effect. You want to go to normalize. And this list is in alphabetical order. I mean, down to here at least. So you go to normalize. Um, these are the settings that you want to have. You want to have it set to negative 6 dB. You want to have all these three boxes checked. And then you go ahead and just hit OK. And it'll take it a second. OK. Now the last thing you want to do is hit file and export audio. And now this is where I um, make all my adjustments. Um, so like I said earlier, this is set up to my documents, Audacity. HLDJ defaults to my documents, so if you just want to put your audio in there, that's fine. The only problem with that is if you have any other audio in there, HLDJ is going to convert it and throw it into its folder too. So I choose to keep mine a little bit more organized. Made this folder, so let's just do... Okay, so I put down with the sickness, hit save, and uh, oh, uh, actually before I do that, let's do this real quick so I can show you. So you want to do name it whatever you want. You can keep the same name if you want. I choose to do it this way for some reason. Save as type. It will not let you do MP3 if you do not have that codec downloaded. It's always gonna save it as like a wave or uh, whatever. So hit save. Hit OK. Takes it a minute to go through, and that's fine. Um, while it's going through, I'll just let you know. Uh, with the way that I have this set up, I start my CSGO and then I alt tab and then I start HLDJ and then I'll show you what to do from there. So go ahead and exit out of this. I hit no because I really don't care. All right, so now um, just to show you, we open up HLDJ. So you want to go to the audio converter button again and you want to change this. If you default it to documents, that's fine. I don't, like I said, so we'll go to Audacity. We hit OK, and then we hit play, and it's going to convert it down with the sickness, and it takes it a minute, not even a minute, but it'll, well, I don't know about your computer. My computer is pretty quick. It'll convert it. It'll throw it into its output directory folder, which you've already set up, and uh, so let's see here. As soon as this is finished, I'll show you what I have going. All right, cool. Done. Hit X. Awesome. So now if we go to my HLDJ folder you'll see that down with the sickness is now in here okay cool awesome so let's go ahead and exit this out we'll start up CSGO real quick um, I'll show you what to do copy that real quick okay so go cash strike global offensive I'll let this launch I need some water it's a lot of talking alright cool there it goes so we go ahead and open up console. You're going to type in this command. You want to bind whatever key it is that you want your HLDJ to play with. Uh, like I said, you can either use that front line command and do it from there. I choose to do it from here, so I do bind. I use period. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, next thing you want to do is Alt-Tab. For This is my process. You don't have to do the same as me. Go to HLDJ. We hit play, right? Go back into Counter-Strike, clear this message out. All right, now we go to exec, auto exec. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And then you want to type in LA and hit enter. That brings up the list of audio. So let's see, I just put number eight. That's down with the sickness. So we load that up. So let's just do a quick game with bots real quick. Uh, random, good enough for me. Cool. So we'll let this start up and I'll show you. It's really this simple. Um, it it's taking me more time to do this because I'm trying to explain it as I go. For me just doing this offhand, it's like a couple minute process. And uh, yeah, this is just the way I prefer to do it. I like using Audacity and doing each song individually rather than using a batch converter because I can edit songs and whatever I want. So yeah, now we're in the game. Um, if I go ahead and just hit the period key. And it just automatically starts playing the song. So it's uh now the is the time. so it's literally it's just it's that simple. There's nothing to it. Um anybody can do it and I just felt like all the tutorials out there were kinda lacking a full from beginning to end tutorial. And like I said, I'll have all the download links in the comment section or uh, in the description below. And uh, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.